there everyone, I'm Lydia Livingstone, 5 News UK, great fan at co.uk. Oh, what a week I'm having. Very tiring, but hopefully getting there in the end. Sorry if I make you in a bit, but my bedroom at the moment is very empty. As the camera will go around the room, give you an idea where it looks like at the present moment in time. Probably not much different, but certainly very empty. This bedroom has never been as empty as it is now. Um, tomorrow I'm hoping that the flat will be, uh, sorry, that this room will be redecorated with the Barbie pink. I've got all this border coming off and it's made a, a massive mess with the with the paint. But luckily, I, even after all these years, I think, I don't know, seven or eight years, um, the actual paint that's on this wall is, um, is still around so I can still get hold of it and we can still use it. So hopefully we'll sort this particular issue out but I don't have any issues with doubt there's a lot of people worse off than me now part of the reason that this is going on is because I needed a new hoist my old one you couldn't get parts for you could wait months for it and um, obviously it cost money to um, to have a hoist and so the procedure was and nobody told me for a very long time because this old hoist went on for what felt like a couple of years but them saying oh well we'll get a part or oh, we can't get a part it's virtually impossible to get parts for the previous ceiling hoist. Anyway, this is the new one. I finally have a new hoist to help me get in, to, get in and out of bed. At the moment, the bed isn't here because obviously there's still work to be done in this room. It feels really weird having an echo in effect. Never had, it, never had my bedroom uh, this empty since I moved in. Anyway, this is the new hoist. I'll demonstrate it now. Well, it makes more of a modern noise, but hopefully when my bed is back in here, it will lift me on and off the bed and it won't keep breaking down. I got so sick in the past of all different engineers saying, oh, we're going to have to condemn it to get it replaced. And it was crazy. But at the moment, as I say, the one in the bedroom is done and um, we'll move on to the one in the living room, which is also very old. That also needs replacing. But the one in the living room... I don't use getting out of bed, it's just used to um, sit me down in front of the TV. It's um, this particular hoist goes all the way around the room because um, obviously it needs to to help me get into bed really. Um, but the one in the living room is what you call single, so it'll just go like that. Whereas this one goes all the way around the room. But um, I'm more optimistic, hoping for the best. Fingers crossed the decorating goes all right. I'm in all day tomorrow. So, in fact, I don't even know what time I'll, I'll end up going back to the hotel. I'm having to stay in a hotel, sadly, because I've got nowhere to sleep in my flat at the moment. But hopefully the end result will be very much worth it because, trust me, it makes you feel, you know, you want to come back home, you want to sleep, you want to do your shower. The place I'm staying in is ceiling track hoist again, and that's not always been easy, getting me in out of bed and managing my disability. And obviously we've not got the sliding sheet, which is... Something we just, you know, just forgot about. Anyway, that's me, you guys. Here's the future. And hopefully some new walls with pink paint. And hopefully it'll look a little bit better. And I can start to move forward. You know what I say? Walk 500 miles. Well, I might not be able to walk, but I'm looking forward to the walk, charity walk I'm doing in July. And I'm also having a, another operation, minor one, which I need. Um, I'm just trying to stay positive, keep thinking of Crazy Frog. I like to sing along to his songs and um, not get too down and all for the best. Thank you for your attention, everyone. I'm sorry if I prattled on. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.